Hello guys, Teddy one here at today's video. This video today, we're going to do some, a few scary stories as, as to read. Now, I've done these, I, I've done these before. Um, I did them last year for a Halloween event for October month. I, I, I did some of them. I did a lot of them, but I did a few of them. So I'm going to do a couple of these just to kind of throw in some more content and stuff. I am going to do some, some more of these for my October month and stuff. So writing some scary stories or reading some scary stories for y'all. Um, <clears throat> I have one that I'll do for the next video that I kind of wrote my own. Um, two of them I'm going to read today are going to be off the computer, so, um, if you guys like, uh, scary stories like this, like, for work, for horror and things, um, comment section below, let me know if you guys want, like, what more of this stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to read two scary stories today, um, see what you guys think, and... Go from there. Okay, uh, our first uh, scary story we had to read here is this story is called 2 a.m. Years ago, early 90s, my boyfriend was driving me home and we saw a man lying on the ground in the strangest position, kneeling with his head on the ground and bent at a shape, uh, at a, well, at a sharp angle so that he faced the street. It was two in the morning, and the man was covered in sweat with eyes open. We pulled over, and I hoped out the, hopped, I hopped out of the car to check on this guy. His eyes were wide open, and he seemed like his face wasn't moving. But it really felt like he was pleading for help. He did not respond at all when, when called out to him, no blinking glossy eyes. I reached out to him and he was ice cold. I'm sure he wasn't breathing. This was before cell phones, so I hopped back in the car and we sped back to my house to call 911. 10 minutes later, the police called back to ask for the, cr for the cross streets again. Apparently they arrived at the corner and there was nothing there. I verified that they had the right spot and they said they would call back if they needed any more information that was the last i ever, i never knew about it i checked the newspaper for the next few weeks but we never found out anything else about that man all right that's that story there sex one is called scratching we had quite a large house shaped like a, an L, but the L was cut into a hill. So the, ah, uh, what the hell? Into a hill, so the, off the, I, well, off the L had a downstairs, wow, that was kind of a weird way of it. Off the, off the L had a downstairs, which was almost underground it had windows facing out but almost but almost was either in the hill or under the floor i had the room on the bottom part of the l from 13 onwards my room had two doors one that opened out to a kind of rumpus room and one to an as in suite in suite in suit it was always creepy as damn, but being a skeptic, I dared anything there to be there, well, there anything there there to do something to me. Grew up fine, but I could never sleep unless both down doors were shut. Then my parents went away. I break the rules and bring my dog in to sleep. On the bed, I awoke a few times late to see her alert and starting and and staring at the floor at the door. Wow! To the rumpus room. Occasionally, I'd hear a clawing at the screen on the window. But we had dogs, cats, horses, and the local butt, bush turkeys, foxes, etc. I figured it. I figured if something was there that shouldn't have been my dogs would have gone ballistic fast forward five years bring a new girlfriend to my home 
to meet my parents slept in my old room. She woke up screaming between 12 a.m. to 3 a.m. twice out of the, the three nights we stayed there. Have been with her five years since, and it's only happened in that room. She won't sleep in the house anymore. My parents let my younger sister move into the room. About four years ago, she asked me recently if I've ever heard scratching on the window late at night. But, but both of the dogs we had, plus the cat and horses, are all dead. It began roughly ten years later, so the scratching is like independent of the pets, unless the local animals are Unless the local animals are screwing with us, she had also said she can't sleep unless both doors are shut and she'll often put door stops under both doors so she hears, hears if either door opens. She's googled some stuff and decided to sage the room and she said had a headache nightmare, headache Nightmares since it since and woke up screaming late at night. Wow At a few times for reference She was about 14 when the night terrors Happened with my girlfriend, so we never told her as I said I'm skeptic, but still pretty creepy Hmm I never really explained what it was or what it, what it might have been, but I'm guessing, since they're sage in the room, I'm guessing it's some type of evil spirit or something. Um, I think that's about it for you guys. Um, I'm just kind of reading some scary stories here. I'll do one more. This one here is the 3 a.m. walk. So, sorry. Wow. I'm trying to read this word here. Sorry. <laughs> 3, 3 a.m. walk. I'm very small. I'm very small for a guy. I stand at around 5'5". Five five, and the most I've ever weighed was around 150 pounds. About six or seven years ago, I didn't have my license despite being fair old, fairly fair old enough to drive. But a good buddy of mine wanted to hang out, and he told he he too did not have a way of transport. So we decided to both walk towards one another and meet in the middle. We would both walk, be walking back five miles. It was 3 a.m. on a cold winter night, and I was. Wearing, wearing black jacket with my hood up, about two miles into my hike along in the main road, a car pulled into a parking spot of a home. I was passing just a few feet behind me. He wasn't entirely into dry, driveway, almost halfway, hanging out into the road. I half expect it was just a kind stranger wanting to give me a ride, but I wasn't about to take any rides from anybody. I kept pacing forward and ignoring the car behind me, expecting them to roll down the window and sh shout at me. It didn't happen. The car just sat at, a, at the edge of the driveway, running, running, but completely dark inside to the point that I could, I could bear, oh, barely make out the figure of the large man. I don't typically get frightened by much, but something in the air made me tense up and my heart kind of dropped to my stomach. I stopped and turned to look at the car. I had feeling that the person driving was watching me instantly. The figure in the car was definitely facing me. I could see the reflection from his dash bouncing off his eyes. I started back. I figured he was about to yell out to me, but he just sat quietly in a strange, menacing way that I have only ever seen seen, seen scenes in movies play out. I kind of did a wave 
at that figure, letting him know I saw him and waited for some type of communication in return. He didn't budge, just stared instantly. I was return I returned to pacing away slightly bris brisker. Wow. After just a few moments, uh, I could hear the car slowly roll in reverse. So I turned to face, but it kept pacing backwards. The car kept creeping slowly. I pulled down my hood and stood still again, waiting for him to, pa to pass me. But instead, the man slowed to a stop beside me. The passenger side window rolled down, and the man I met eyes what met eyes. No words were exchanged at all, and before I could even let out a hello, the man grimaced and accelerated away at a decent pace, almost as if he was disappointed by what he had seen. It doesn't seem like much from how it reads, but I'll never forget how tense that interaction was for me. I've not felt anything like it since then. Since then, and... Something that I will never forget. Okay. Okay, guys. That's going to be it for today's video. Uh, two, three stories I read. Um, I have one that I kind of wrote on my own. Uh, I think I'm going to do another one gonna, sometime today and write another one down. So I'll have like two stories I'll do it till tomorrow. In the next video or something. Um... But yeah, uh, if you guys like more scary story videos like this, uh, like reading ones, just like hearing a story or here and there, comment section below, let me know. Um, I'm going to try and do some of these for, my, for October month as well that I did last year with. So uh, post the comment section below, and if you'd like to be, hit, hit the like button, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the button as always. I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.